Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And I'm so excited. Gina Young is going to show you all how to make cabbage. We're going to make some fried cabbage today. This cabbage is going to be mouth-watering. It's so easy to make. It's a lot of fun to make, and yet it tastes so good. This fried cabbage that I'm going to show you all to make is packed with so much flavor. And I want to show you all that anything that I can make in my kitchen, you all can do as well. Here's what you're gonna need. You will need cabbage. This is two medium-sized heads of cabbage that I've cut up just like so. And you wanna kinda cut your pieces in the same size so that everything gets done around the same time because if you have big pieces and small pieces, everything won't get done at the same time. Make sure that you wash off your cabbage with a little bit of salt and cold water, and you can soak your cabbage in cold water like I do. Okay, so that's what I've done with this. Let's just set it aside. And I have a lot of beautiful vegetables here. I have tricolored bell peppers, which is the green, orange, red, and yellow. I have a yellow onion, as well as we're gonna put a pinch of sugar in there. If you're that person that doesn't like sugar in yours, then by all means, you don't have to use it, okay? Now, we're gonna use some Polska kielbasa. That's, this right here is what I love to use when I am making cabbage. This right here is gonna give you an absolutely amazing flavor. Trust me when I tell you this. And we're also gonna use some bacon. Let me grab my bacon out. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day today, a great work week as well. We're gonna use bacon also. I have two strips of bacon, but that bacon's gonna let off some bacon grease and it's gonna give a uh, just it's gonna give the best flavor as well anytime I make cabbage I take my bacon and I chop it up and I cook the bacon until it gets somewhat crispy all right and it will be rendering off some of the beautiful fat that comes from the bacon and that's going to go into our beautiful cabbage and give it so much flavor. Absolutely it will. And you only need two or three pieces. That's all you're gonna need because we're gonna use this meat here as well. So I have a pan. Let's go ahead and put that bacon right into that pan, render that beautiful oil off, and crisp this bacon up. I'm gonna turn the bacon on to a medium high heat so that it can start cooking. Meanwhile, let's come over here and we want to slice our kielbasa, just like so. See that, that's how I like to have mines. If you wanted to chop yours up, uh, you know, like into squares, it's okay, absolutely you can. It's really up to your discretion, okay? What I love to do, now a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people don't use the bell peppers in theirs. Me personally, when I have cabbage, I have to have those bell peppers. Those bell peppers give you a flavor out of this world. Now see, and here's the thing also, if there's a bell pepper that you don't prefer, like if you don't like the orange bell pepper, then it's really simple, don't use it. Use the ones that you like. Anything that I make, and if there's an ingredient that you don't like, just omit that ingredient and use what you like so that you can enjoy the dish as well. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these just like so. And one package of this for two heads of cabbage is plenty. And you'll have leftover cabbage. You'll be able to take that cabbage to work. Everybody in your work break room is going to say, oh my goodness, like that cabbage looks so good. Can I have some? <laughs> All right, let's continue to chop this. Now I have my bacon starting to cook. As soon as the, right before the bacon gets too dark, what we're gonna do with this kielbasa sausage is we're gonna brown up the sausage as well. I feel like, so, now there's two different ways you can do it. Once you start to cook your cabbage, you can put this in the cabbage just like that. 
or you can take the time to brown it off and extract some of those beautiful flavors and you'll be able to put that juice that comes out of the sausage in the bacon into your cabbage. And trust me when I tell you this, it does make a difference. Absolutely it does. So then you can see right here that I have my bacon cooking on a medium high heat. As soon as it gets golden brown, a little golden brown, we'll go ahead and put our sausages in. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer these sausages into a bowl and we'll ch chop up our beautiful vegetables. Be right back. Okay, while our bacon cooks down, let's go ahead and give our garlic a nice whack. And what that does, if your garlic has the skin on it, it will help you to get the skin off of the garlic and it will smash your garlic so it's a little easier on the chopping process because it kind of smashes it a little bit. So you have to have fresh garlic. If you don't like the garlic, I highly suggest using uh, garlic powder, you know, if you don't like the fresh garlic. But I feel like the garlic, that fresh garlic, it gives a great flavor. Absolutely it does. And for as long as we're gonna cook our cabbage, this garlic will cook down, you know, and you're not gonna taste big pieces between your teeth, but it will flavor it nicely. Okay, so then let's go ahead, get some of this pepper. Make sure that you wash off the outside of your peppers before you use them. I'm so excited for this cabbage, my word. My mouth is watering. When's the last time you all had cabbage? Anybody? When is the last time you all have had cabbage? It's been a while for me. I think my last cabbage video is when I last had cabbage. And you all that know me, you know that I like to have my cabbage over top of white rice. Always I do. And the reason why I do that is because that's how I grew up. When my dad would make cabbage, he would always put the cabbage over top of white rice. And it's amazing that way. And also my dad would do beans and he also would do greens that way. When we had beans or greens or cabbage, he would always, always put it over top of white rice. And I do the same thing. And sometimes I will do the potatoes on the side. It's like a parsley buttered potato. And if you're curious how I make those potatoes, feel free to look at another one of my cabbage videos. And I believe that I show how to do that in detail, how to make those potatoes. Those potatoes are one of my favorite potatoes. They are absolutely amazing. My grandma would make those potatoes all the time. And now I make them. I love, I'm a sucker for a good parsley butter potato. Hoo -wee. All right, there's that. I'm gonna check on our bacon over here. I have a little bit more lighting. Those of you that are familiar with my channel, you all know that I have moved and I'm waiting to get all of my correct lighting over here so that you all can have a great picture, okay? My bacon is browning up just beautifully and I'm starting to get that oil that I'm wanting. That oil is gonna help to fry our cabbage up just beautifully. Our bacon is almost to the point so where I'm gonna go ahead and put my sausage in with the bacon, just like so. And you wanna make sure that each piece of your sausage, top and bottom of that sausage, gets nice and golden brown. Nice and golden brown. Like I said, honestly, you can put your sausage in the cabbage, you know, without sauteing it first, but me personally, I like it this way. It gives it more flavor. All right, so that's on a medium heat cooking up. Let's go ahead and chop up the rest of our veggies as well. I love to see the different colors going through the cabbage. Absolutely love the colors. I'm going to continue to cut these veggies. And once I finish cutting them, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, let me show you our sausages. They're not done. 
but I want to show you the color that you're supposed to achieve. See that there? We're going to make sure that every sausage has that beautiful golden brown color just like so. So I'm going to cook it until they're nice and golden brown. I'm still chopping up the beautiful veggies. Okay, everybody, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and make my rice and get that over with. Those of you that are familiar with me on my channel, you know that I love to use boil in a bag rice. Boil in a bag rice comes in brown rice as well, if you're not a fan of white rice. This is the white rice. All you do is, we're gonna take two bags of rice, you want to boil your water that's what i have this pan here as soon as that water comes up to a boil you throw your bags in a rice if you want one bag use one if you want three use three you can put them all in there together after it boils for 11 minutes you have the perfect nice beautiful fluffy rice every time that's why i like to use this rice okay so as soon as my water comes up to a boil i'm going to salt my water just a little bit and throw two bags in but I also wanted to show you what my sausage is looking like. See that? In the bottom of this bowl, I have the juice from the sausage and also the grease from the bacon. That's going to be used to help fry our beautiful cabbage. So we're just going to set that aside just like so. My water is almost to the point to where it's going to boil. Here's what we're going to do. So come over this way and put your cabbage in just like so. Now one thing about the cabbage that I want you all to know is you do not have to use liquid. Cabbage is cabbage is 90% water. It has so much water in it, you don't have to use any water. Okay, if you wanted to use some, just use a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit, but I'm not going to use a lot. Okay, and I'll show you how much. See that there? Put your cabbage in, and this cabbage will shrink down. So if your cabbage, let's just say we put this much cabbage in. In about 10, 15 minutes, it'll shrink down way down here, okay? And that always happens, okay? So watch this here. With our peppers, we'll go ahead and put your garlic in. Put that garlic in. It's okay if you just put it right there in the middle because we're going to stir this so many times, everything's going to get well incorporated. Let's take a little bit of each pepper and put that in there just like so. Nice and beautiful. Let's put that onion in as well. Just like this. And then we're going to leave some. Okay, so the veggies that we're putting in right now, these veggies are going to cook down these veggies are going to cook down to flavor town you know they're going to just cook into flavor basically and they will kind of disintegrate if that makes any sense to you that's how long those will cook now that's what i want them to do i want these peppers to just disintegrate into flavor all right now these here i want to be able to taste the veggies as well these ones here are not going to disintegrate because I'm going to put these in last. So you're going to be able to taste the pepper itself. You're going to be able to bite down into the pepper versus these ones that are going to cook for a while and they're going to kind of disintegrate. All right. So now go ahead and give your cabbage seasoning. You always want to season. Don't you be afraid to season any dish. Only thing you always have to worry about is how much salt you use, okay? Don't get crazy with the salt. This is cracked black pepper. We're gonna use some parsley flakes, just like so. We're gonna use some adobo. If you didn't wanna use adobo, you can use garlic and onion powder instead, okay? We're going to use a tiny bit of sea salt. That's it. Okay. Now, I always like to use a pinch of sugar. And when I say a pinch, just a pinch. It really does something to the flavor. And like I said in the beginning, if you're that person that says, no, I 
don't want the sugar. Then really, it's that simple. You don't have to use it. Okay, so my water over here is boiling beautifully. I've salted the water. Go ahead and put your bags of rice in. 11 minutes, that rice will be done. We're going to cover this pan with a lid. Okay, we're going to cook this on a medium-high heat. It's going to cook down. We're going to come back. We're going to give this a taste. Okay, we're going to see if we need any other seasonings. When we come back and stir everything around, then we'll put our sausage in, our bacon in, and those beautiful juices from the bacon and the sausage. Okay, but let this cook down for a while. Let's be able to stir it, stir it around, season it once again, then we'll put our meat in. I'll be back. Okay, everybody, I told you all that I was gonna put a little bit of water in. Look at that, just a little tiny bit. Just a little bit to get it going. Just like so, that's all you're gonna need. Medium high heat. Never turn it up on high because you'll wind up with smushy cabbage. Never turn it on low because you'll be waiting for days for your cabbage to get done. <laughs> it's almost been 11 minutes. Our rice is cooking up just beautifully. Here in a second, I'm gonna take it out of the pan. Just cut that bag open. Pour the water out of the pan and put my rice back into that warm pan. Just put a little bit of nice butter and parsley on my rice. Okay, everybody, let me show y'all beautiful rice. A little bit of cracked black pepper, just like so. And I never put salt on my rice. Sometimes, and, and most of the time, I will salt the water for sure. But I don't put salt on the rice because I find that it makes your rice mushy. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I Dropping butter. Put you a tad of butter in, just like so. Nice fluffy rice every time. Get your butter nice and incorporated into your rice with the black pepper. Then, Where's my parsley? A little bit of parsley, just to make it nice and beautiful. And your rice is perfectly done. All right? I think I'll give that a try. My goodness, I can't, I can't resist it. Mmm. Okay, everybody, now, take your lid off. Here's where the frying process is going to start. I always like to start mine by having the lid on and starting to steam it. Now, that water, it's fine. If you have some water in the bottom, hey, it's going to happen. All right, like I told you all, this cabbage is 90% water. There's a little bit of water in the bottom up there. Don't worry about that. Watch this. You want to stir in those seasonings, that garlic, those beautiful bell peppers, and that onion. Now, let's go ahead, put the meat in. Look at that. Those beautiful juices. Take the time to get all of those juices, that bacon grease, the juice from that beautiful meat. Get all that goodness in there. This is what's gonna help to fry and give that beautiful flavor that we all love. All right, now here's where the love happens. Never mind the noise, I just turned my vent on above my stove. Oh my goodness, girlfriend, don't you hurt them. Mm, 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 look at this. -wee. We got the rice ready on the side. Beautiful, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, from here on, we are not, we are not gonna put the lid on because if you put the lid on, you will, um, you will make more water. We don't want more water, all right? So medium high steel, all right? And then these veggies right here, they will go in towards the end of the cooking process when I feel like our cabbage only needs maybe 10 minutes or so. That's when we'll put those in. I wanted to show you all something. Have you all ever seen these before? Tomberry tomatoes. I was so excited when I saw these little tiny tomatoes 
in the store. They have to be the cutest thing. I'm eating them. <laughs> they have to be the cutest thing I've ever seen. So earlier, I just took some. I poured some in a bowl. Sprinkled me a little bit of sea salt on them. And I just went at these bad boys. This is the cutest thing that I've ever seen. And not to mention, there's so many different things you can do with these little tomatoes. Heck, first thing I can think of is putting them in a salad. I thought the cherry tomatoes were amazing. This right here, this tops the cake. <laughs> Tom's tomatoes, now I found those at Walmart. Okay, everybody, so I tasted the seasoning and I felt like I needed a little bit more seasoning. So then I'm gonna go in with adobo. Like I said, um, if you don't wanna use adobo, use garlic powder and onion powder. Uh, you know, all, all that know me, you know that I'm in my new place and I am out of garlic powder and onion powder. So that's why I'm using adobo today. I'm gonna put some, a little bit of sea salt. Don't get carried away. A little goes a long way, that's it. Cracked black pepper. And so far, we don't need any more sugar. Beautiful. We're just gonna let it cook down for a while. Okay, everybody, our cabbage has cooked for 35 minutes. Now I want to put our vegetables in once again. And remember, these vegetables, they're not gonna turn into mush. We're not gonna cook it that much longer. You're gonna still be able to taste and bite down into these peppers and onions, okay? And it's gonna, and these peppers right here are gonna stay nice and vibrant. That's how you can have a nice, beautiful, I like when my, I eat with my eyes first, and I love that it stays nice and vibrant and beautiful when you put those peppers and onions in last. So I'm only gonna cook this for 10 minutes, and we're done. And really, it's that simple, so easy, and you have, such a nice tasty healthy meal if you're that person that says gina i don't eat pork i don't eat pork what do i do well you put you some turkey bacon in there you can put you some turkey sausage in there you can use beef sausage chicken sausage there's different things that you can do and here's the thing you don't have to use any meat if you didn't want to absolutely you don't have to use any meat you can do it this way, and guess what? You can do it without the meat, and guess what? It's still going to be good. It's still going to be good. Trust me when I tell you this. Absolutely. Let me bring this close to the camera so that you all can see this. Can you all see that? Listen here. This is cabbage, fried cabbage 101. You all never had this before. You better make you some. Absolutely you should. Look at that. Beautifulness, my goodness. 10 more minutes, we're gonna come back. We're gonna say a prayer of our beautiful cabbage. I'm gonna give this a taste. I'm gonna let y'all know what this tastes like. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and say my prayer now because I'm ready. when I'm ready to plate this up, I'm gonna be ready to dig in. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for this meal today. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. We thank you for all you do, Lord Jesus. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our heart. We make you our Lord and Savior. We pray that you send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions and give us peace over our mind. Lord, once again, we thank you for the roof over our head, the, the food that you feed us. Amen. Okay, everybody, it has been 10 more minutes. Our cabbage is done. We're going to dig in. I'm going to taste this. I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. And, of course, I'm going to give you all the first bite. All right, I'm so excited. Been too long. It's been too long, cabbage. You've been away from me too long, baby. Hoo-wee. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. My goodness, watch this. Mm, get right in my belly. Mm-hmm. Girl, you better make you some. Oh, oh my goodness. I cannot forget my rice. Like, what's wrong with me? You better get you some. Okay, so I got my rice. Just like so. 
and I want some of those beautiful juices as well. Oh, that's right here. Mm, mm, mm. My mouth, my taste buds are jumping around already. Let me grab a fork. Look at this. Look at this. Fried Cabbage 101. Make you some. Make it for your loved one. Make this. Make this for somebody. And when they ask you, because they're going to ask, where the heck did you get that recipe from? Be sure to tell them, Jeannie Young. Jeannie Young showed me how. All right, let's grab a fork and we're gonna dig in. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this, guys. Look at that. My word. Before I give this a taste, I wanna tell you all what my day consists of. I'm gonna give you all one video today, but this right here is a banging recipe. You hear me? This one video that I'm putting out today is definitely worth it. So, the reason why I'm doing one video today, this is what my day consists of. So, I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning and we went walking. We went walking for about a mile and a half came back, went to Walmart. Well, first, 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 first. I woke up this morning and we had yogurt and we had oranges for breakfast. We went and took our mile and a half walk and right when we came back home from walking, we went to Walmart. Went to Walmart and we picked out flowers for the front yard and mulch and then we did our front yard. Now, we got done with our front yard at 4.30 p.m. Absolutely we did. So we came in and we ate some lunch. We had a little bit of Subway. And then we took our showers. I put my pajamas on and I said, I'm going to get a video put out. So here I am. It is 7.03 p.m. And here you go. Here's your video for today. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night. But we're going to taste this first. We are going to taste this first. I don't feel like I can hold the bowl because it's so hot. All right. I want a little bit of everything. I want some of the meat, the cabbage, the veggies, and the rice. Mmm. All right. I want you all to taste this. Let me know what you all think. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This right here is what I call fried cabbage. Dig in, taste you some. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, you better make you some. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in, I can't wait. Mm, mm, -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Oh my word. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's a party in my mouth right now. There's so many different flavors. There's bacon. There's bacon fat. There's kielbasa. The juices from the kielbasa. There's garlic and onions and peppers and salt and adobo. It's amazing. Mm, last bite, guys. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. So good. Mm.